This is a little piece of teak that someone gave me. And I'm not making a half model on this. I'm just gonna paint on the outline of a model for a couple young friends of mine. So I'll have to put three or four coats of varnish on this. And then I'll, uh, I'll paint them outline of the the outline of the this the senior. It's gonna be a Wiano senior. It'll go on something like this. Then there'll be a keel and a rudder. Alright, I'm gonna give this a little quick tacking. Just to get off a little bit of dust. This is just a, a satin varnish. Any, you know, you can get any of this varnish, gloss or satin at any hardware store. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Satin varnish usually doesn't look too good as it's drying. You think you made a mistake, but it, it dries blotchy until it's dry all the way. I like to put a couple of coats on the back. I guess you don't really have to, but I do. Ugh. Yeah, if you use little blocks with screws in it, just use that for varnish and don't ever sand on it because that'll uh, they'll slide and scratch. Oh yeah. And I usually just use those little blocks on the back side, it doesn't show. Okay, that's it for today. Beautiful. to get something nice and straight. Now this is the water line. Hopefully it will mark good enough just so I can tape it. This stuff does not, this pen does not work good on something that's uh, not sanded. Please. I was afraid of a Sharpie if it wasn't marked perfect. 
I couldn't get it off, a Mac off. These pens here with the white cap take uh, come off with a little spit or a little water. All right. All right, we're just going to try a little white gloss. Probably won't cover very good. When I put a boot top on this, maybe a red one, that'll be over the white. And when that all, I finish the white complete, then I'll tape it again for the boot top. And when that dries real good after a couple days, I'll have to retape it for the bottom. And I'm gonna try to put the keel rudder on. I've never painted, done this before, so it's kind of a... Learn as you go. It's a pain in the neck, but it is easier than making a model. <laughs> Well, that'll be the bottom. When that's dry, probably take a couple of coats. It'll, uh, the keel and the centerboard and rudder will be on. And then you'll wet sand it maybe all together? Yeah, I had to wet sand the white. I used, uh, I started with a 1000 grit then I went to 2,500 grit because I was dirt in it. If you have a nice clean brush, which I guess I didn't, and if you're happy with it, don't wet sand it. And then I polish it with this compound and you can get something different maybe any place and that's a polish. And it's got a nice shine to it. And, uh, so we'll see. I have to get a brush out now to paint this bottom. I don't know if it'll cover one coat. If I have to wet sand it, I gotta put on at least two coats. This happens to be one shot process blue. It's sign painters paint. It's more expensive, but I like the color. And uh, but you can use any color. You know, 
you can even go up to your local hardware store and get Rust-Oleum, oil-based Rust-Oleum. I've seen the sign painter here use it when he had nothing else. I guess you can use water-based paint. I've never used it myself. So, I'll have to let it dry and hopefully I'll probably end up wet sanding it and uh, having to uh, put another coat on. And then a red boot top, right? Red, yeah, white, and blue? Yeah, you know, the red boot top will be the very last. The red boot top will go over the white. Because red will cover the white better than anything else. I did a little taping for the keel. And trying to get a couple of coats of blue on it. Are you overlapping a little bit onto yeah, the bottom paint? Trying to overlap just a little. You want a little 333? Uh, actually, the red will hide it. I'm afraid of putting, trying to clean it right now. Down by your, um, yeah, your keel, right there. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> So I'll leave the tape on. Make sure I get it up here. One of the worst things about painting these models, if you get too fussy, it can drive you crazy. Sometimes you just have to leave things alone. When you're up on the wall, no one's going to see it. So this is a special ho hello to Nicholas and James. They're friends of Betsy and I and one of the fellows that works here at the boat yard. So, hi, Nicholas. Hi, James. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, James. Okay, that's it. Okay. Right, this is a little painting we did of a Wiano Senior for my two buddies, Nicholas and James. And my new friends. So this is going to be hung up in their room, and I just want to say hello to them. And all right, that's it. <laughs>